Hey everyone, this is Jonathan and I'm back with another doll review and today we will be talking about one of the new Barbie look Barbie dolls and she is from the second wave of this line. I believe she came out with another, so there's two in the second line and this is one of them. I managed to snag this beauty up at Walmart for $29.99. And she is absolutely gorgeous. I do have the other one as well. I haven't um, deboxed her yet only because I don't have like room <laughs> where I would put her. And I'm just kind of waiting uh, for the right time to kind of record her review. Because she's also a really, really pretty doll. She's actually in the back of this box. So we'll be able to talk about her in a sec. But today we'll be focusing on this one. I believe this one is... I can't remember if her name was Boho Chic or if she was like um, Festival uh, Ready, I think. I can't, I can't remember exactly what her official name is. But she is part of the Barbie Collector uh, line and she's a black label Barbie doll. So she's available at any um, uh, toy retailer such as Target, uh, Walmart, Toys R Us, and so forth. Um, like all the other dolls, she comes with a stand. This time, instead of having it on this side, the stand is right behind her on this side. I think this doll is absolutely gorgeous. I believe this doll was designed or mm, designed slash announced right around the time of Coachella this year. So I believe this doll was appropriate for the time. Um, she's super, super stunning. She comes with like the really, she comes with like the very popular Aphrodite sculpt. She has like beautiful, like, strawberry blonde-ish hair. She has like this other gorgeous, gorgeous long maxi dress. I believe she comes with like like wedge sandals. You can't see them because of the dress. You know, she comes with like golden accents. She has a belt, she has a necklace, she has like a really pretty bronze like gold uh bracelet and she comes with like a really cute like neat uh headband. <clears throat> um in the background of the box, you can see that she is at a music festival. You can see like the Ferris wheel, you see all the trees, sunset, it's really, really pretty. She comes with a really, really fun accessories. She has the music festival ticket or a map of the location, a water bottle so she can stay hydrated, and of course, a camera so she can capture all the amazing moments at this festival. Okay, and in the back we have <clears throat> Similar layout that they had from the first wave, you see we have Urban Jungle up here, we have the accessories of one of them, and then we have a close-up of the one that I will be talking about today. And then the description right here in the box, I believe this one's different from the other one. This one says, uh, hashtag the Barbie look, she lives life joyously and always fashionably, she models the perfect look and that unstoppable attitude wherever she goes. Barbie doll's closet is packed with quintessential ensembles, so our photogenic Barbie always flashes unforgettable style and a brilliant smile. Hashtag the Barbie look Barbie doll wears a, a floor length uh, boldly printed maxi dress. Note were the accessories complemented her chic outfit at Barbie style. Kind of noticed that they didn't go with the whole follow her adventures and so forth, but at the bottom right here, we can see the full, um, body of all three and i have i already reviewed this one but i will be talking about this one and this one is yet to come but she's absolutely gorgeous like she's beautiful i can't wait to take her out i can't wait to see what she's all about outside of the box so let's go ahead and do that and we'll be right back okay and here she is out of her box and she is absolutely gorgeous her hair is super soft her outfit is adorable. I love the material of the skirt. It's absolutely stunning. I love this. And it's a major plus because her bag is fabric. I I mean, of course, you could have seen that when it was inside the bags, but inside the box, actually. I'm sorry. And um, I am I love fabric uh, handbags. I think they're... I think they're better than the plastic ones that most Playline dolls come with, but that's just me. I still use them for pictures, I'm not going to lie. But all around, this doll is absolutely beautiful. Um, so, like I mentioned, she's on her stand, and it does go around the waist. Um, a little letdown about her hair. It's super flat when I took her out of the box. It, you know, the back had box hair, obviously, but like the front, it didn't have like the wavy curls that it did in the back of the box. So that's like a bit of a letdown. It's still really pretty though. It's still super soft. No, uh, I haven't washed her hair, but it's super, super pretty. I love it. Um, she comes with like a headband right here, like 
let me go ahead and bring her closer she comes with like a really really pretty fabric um stretchy headband look at that face gorgeous i love it just like the other dolls she comes with a manicure so she has like a pink nail on all of them so um basic points of articulation for these for this doll as well she pivots at the neck and then at the shoulder elbow and wrist and then one at the hip you can't really see but then she also has a joint at the knee so she's fully articulated which is awesome she is on the model muse uh articulated body so she's a little bit taller like i mentioned in one of my other videos she's taller and she is skinnier gorgeous nonetheless um something i forgot to mention on all my other on the other uh look dolls that i've done reviews on they all come with this really cool certificate of authenticity forgot to mention that on all the other videos but yeah all these dolls come with this kind of just to kind of like you know have proof that you purchased these dolls from mattel okay and then um let's go ahead and talk about the accessories she comes with so so we've seen the bag and it is fabric it has like this really cute fringe detail on it it is sewn shut in the center so you can totally unattach that if you want um there's opening slight openings on the side so um but yeah she it's it's sewn shut uh and then <clears throat> she comes with like this really really pretty bracelet the detail on this bracelet is super super gorgeous it's so sultry very very boho like this like the theme of this doll it is plastic it looks super metally though i'm not gonna lie i actually kind of thought it was but it's plastic we have like the belt detail with a buckle on it and then she comes with like a leaf like a feather necklace around her neck the dress does come with snaps so there's a snap around the neck area and then there is a snap on the back of the dress i believe she has two i totally thought that this dress was going to have the option to take like the belt off of it but it's actually attached to the dress itself so um the option of wearing the dress without the belt is not an option <laughs> okay and then let's go ahead and check out the accessories she comes with so first she comes with like the map and then if you open it it just extends to you know it's blank on one side and then you just so for her to you know know where she's going and then we have a really really cute water bottle let's see if it'll focus on it super super cute super tiny clear and then this is my favorite i've been wanting this camera since i saw it on barbie's official instagram it's super super cute i love it overall this doll she's just very 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 glamorous she's absolutely fabulous for anybody who likes you know this you know fashion style or just the style of living i think it's great i think it fits perfectly um, oh my gosh, I totally forgot. Let's go ahead and talk about the shoes. Oops, totally forgot about those. But look at these. Super cute, wedges, strappy, super adorable. I believe the dress is a combination of a knit and a chiffon under over it because the material is super, super like delicate. The printed side the printed part of the dress super super delicate but like if you look underneath it has like a purple layer under it really really pretty um kind of just hides it's, it gives it an illusion that it's not see-through because if it was see-through uh might be a problem <laughs> but yeah overall this doll is really really pretty i'm really really happy i finally have her i can't wait to show you more of her and there will be another doll review involving the other doll um from this look line and i can't wait to show it to you guys um let me know what you think in the comments below. Uh, please subscribe and share. And until next time, guys, have a good one.